Imagine going to the park and playing frisbee with your friend. You stand at some distance from each other. You aim to throw the frisbee as cleanly as possible so your friend can easily catch it. That's your intent, but when you throw the frisbee, your aim is off and it hits a passerby in the head, causing them a great deal of pain and injury. The stranger is shocked, in pain, or possibly knocked off their feet. Whatever happens, your intent was to throw the frisbee in a manner that your friend would catch it, but the impact was that the frisbee you threw hit a stranger in the head. This situation is an example of intent versus impact. Humans generally and most often have good intentions. While certainly some people set out to harm with bad intentions, in general, humans have good intentions at heart. Your intention when throwing that frisbee was to have fun. You weren't seeking out a stranger with the intent to injure someone. Although that wasn't the case, the impact remains that someone was harmed. This frisbee metaphor is a reference for someone who makes a racist comment. Maybe the intention was not to say something blatantly racist. You could have good intentions in mind, but it was still in bad form, much like the bad form you displayed when throwing the frisbee. Despite your intent, the impact is that you did hurt a person of color. Not only is that person harmed, but those comments have a ripple effect that harm entire communities of people of color. The impact caused offense, degrading, and marginalization. Let's go back to intent. It often begins with someone who has privilege, someone who may be white or a male, hearing or able-bodied. They typically come up with solutions and develop plans, all with good intentions, but the action had an impact. And that impact is typically on marginalized communities. People of color, women, people with disabilities, and so forth. When approached and confronted that their actions have had a negative impact, were insulting, demeaning, and unacceptable, the person with privilege will most often default to self-preservation. They will defend their own identity. They may say, I didn't intend to, or I'm not racist. The person takes on a defensive stance, denying any accusation of causing harm. Their top priority is themselves and their own feelings. Once they feel better by making it clear that it wasn't their intent, they take the liberty of deciding the solution. The solution based on their preferences. What is the best way to go about addressing the impact that you've caused? First and foremost, listen. Allow the harmed person to share their pain and their stories. Then go back home and unpack your form. Just like bad form when throwing the frisbee, think through what you said and what you did. Think of how you framed it. Consider your worldview and upbringing. Unpack all of those things. Then read to become informed. Ask others to help you understand why what you said was considered racist so that you can begin to comprehend others' perspectives. Continue to reflect, self-assess, adjust, and improve. Next time you encounter a similar situation, you will have improved your form, the way you communicate your intentions. So, listen, and most importantly, apologize. Take responsibility. Acknowledge that you exhibited a bad form, that you were out of practice, and that you take responsibility for the harm caused. Then commit to practice to be mindful of your surroundings as not to cause harm again. Next, make amends. Amends means that you seek out ways to take action 
that will reduce the severity of the effects of the harm you caused. Using the Frisbee scenario, after you see that you caused injury, you can offer to drive the person to the hospital. If they are deaf, you can offer to arrange interpreting services on their behalf. Pay the steep medical bill. You make amends because the injury caused was your fault. It wasn't your intention to cause injury, but that was the actual impact, and you are responsible for that, including working to resolve it. That's making amends. The reason I share this story is because this is exactly what has happened at my work. Many people tell me they have good intentions, and I know that. They will say, I didn't mean it, becoming defensive and explaining away their behavior. There is no need for this. I know them. There is no reason to spend time explaining why you may have acted in a certain way, because I already know. Instead of excusing the action, focus on the impact. Again, your actions impact not only the person you harmed, but have a ripple effect on the communities of people of color. The intent wasn't to be malicious against people of color. But the impact is still very real. Just like the injury caused from being hit in the face with a frisbee. Listen. Be accountable. Take action.